I, I want to talk about hair before we finish because um, well, your hair uh, people cannot see this but it is very <laughs> shiny it is coiled to the maxes I have lots it of coils you, like the, when I met Zerlina she did not have she did not go through it's her true. big chop she, it's and true I'm, I'm just very not that I should be proud of her <laughs> for embracing the way her hair grows out of her head because I don't want to yeah. police any woman's right. decision I love a good you know sewing like me any too other, yeah <laughs> I, so we can have all the things. Mean, when yes. you talk about that in the beginning of the book, I'm like, yes, girl. Because, like, my thing is is that it's not, like... It, Joan Morgan said this on Melissa Harris Perry once. She was like, people think my hair is short like this because I'm, like, you know, Nubian and queen. She's like, no, I'm just... I don't want to do my hair, so I cut it short. Um, and I and I felt like that was such but a... the ways in which people yeah. just read your decisions, right? right? The way like, you oh, you're hair. one type of way mm-hmm. because you have an afro, so you must be, like, more militant than yeah. you were. I'm, like, the same person well, I was I before. When I Tina Knowles for my podcast, um, she said the same thing. She goes, you know, don't let, you know, don't let the green eyes and, you know, right. blondish hair fool you. Yeah. I'm the blackest woman you exactly. know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because it's, it, it, I think, like, people read too much into that decision, whereas it's just an expression of creativity mm-hmm. and, and really of who you want to be that day. Yeah. I, and so I want to, but I wanted to talk about um, your natural hair journey because I love that moment in the book um, where you sort of let your hair down um, and Troy, the person you're dating, is like, oh, it's beautiful. I finally see you. I mean, I actually had that experience um, too. Is I, I was dating someone at the time that was like, oh, now I really see you. I was like, well, I, I was here that. before. Yeah. It was the same person. <laughs> it's just different hair coming. It's just different hair. It's not really that. I know. Well, it's, I think Deep. at the time I really appreciated it. You know, in the what's so great about memoir writing memoir is that you can write about the moment as it was at the time, and then you can contextualize it out. You right. Know, and then think about the lessons yeah. and the takeaways from that yeah. moment. And in that moment, I did feel really seen because it felt really vulnerable to take out yeah. something that I had attached to my hair, other hair to my head for years. Right. right. And so to be able to take that out and be like, "Am I still pretty?" You right. Know? Like, right. There, you doubt those. You things. never know. And like, you know, literally, my hair was like this much and didn't even really curl and so for me it was like I didn't you know all my attachments and all the women that I saw in media didn't really have that look and so for me I was like really doubtful and so to have someone that cared about me to be like there you are I yeah. see you not that he's like seeing a whole different person but I think that he was just like surprised to, right. to see me as I as my hair actually was I absolutely I'm so happy we were able to touch on hair before we finish hair because I didn't talk about, talk about it's very important yes. especially as black women it's a it's a very big deal it is and, and we should be able to wear hair however we want exactly 